Hi, Gemini. E-Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the month's upcoming challenges, take advantage of its opportunities, and even look forward to its blessings. Now, should you like to learn more about E. Ray Tyronic, the author, you can always hit the down bar. My links are below, as well as the links to the Healing Chakra Beats and Mental Chatter Musings monthly newsletter, where you can find these uh, horoscopes in written detail, uh, writing tips and resources, healing tips and resources, juicy sneak peeks from my upcoming novels, as well as a special dive into our star player of the month, who this month happens to be entertainment mogul Brianne Co Brianna Cole. Um, I implore you to check out what she has in store for you in our spotlight portion of the newsletter. Now, let's get into why we're actually here to go over your month of January, Gemini. Let's start at uh, Uranus. Uranus is the planet of shocks, surprises, revolution. Uh, the earth sign of Taurus reigns over our money, our values, our resources. These areas of our lives are experiencing a drastic evolution, okay? Now that Saturn and Jupiter have moved on into Aquarius, they will be lending a squaring aspect to this Uranus transit, okay? Causing challenges that could catch you off guard, uh, us all off guard in the area of friends and high hopes. Now, we will have to put extra effort in these areas, but it will bring blessings that are worth it with Jupiter there as well. The next year will be about friends and high hopes, just like career was about, uh, oh, just like 2020 was about career for the collective, you know? Um, expect big changes where friends and high hopes are concerned, definitely. Um, for you, this will also impact long distance travel. Uh, skills, study, uh, the way you think, and the things that you preach, okay? So all of that will change, you know. Um, you know, that's kind of got to do with your education, your mindset, uh, the, the things you go into studying, updating your skills, and things like that. All of that's going to change for you. Now, right now, Uranus is retrograde. It will go direct at six degrees on the 14th, okay? Now, Mercury, the planet of skills and communication. It entered Capricorn back on December the 20th. This position allows you to be sharp in perception, okay? You can see both sides of the coin when Mercury is in Capricorn. You can handle two things at once as well. Um, so um, if you decide to do both, you know, so be it. You can handle it. Um, friction as to communication and skills will come into your areas of friends and high hopes as well as communications, uh, as well as romance, creativity, and children, okay? So um, you're in the process of healing uh, communication with friends. Um, if something doesn't work out, you know, just don't fret. It, it wasn't for you, you know? Look for, you know, look to the future. Um, opportunities can be communicated uh, through career, as well as work, health, and daily routines, like where you are of service to people as well. You can have opportunities there. People want to work with you, and you have the opportunity to work extra hours as well when the um, sun is in Cap, or when Mercury is in Capricorn. Uh, those opportunities are communicated to you. Now, favorable communication comes your way in the sectors of home and family, your roots, as well as secret sacrifice in solitude, okay? Um, that would be like, you know, your endings, your beginnings, your, uh, or not endings and beginnings, but closures, you know, uh, endings, healing, um, you know, things in, in, in that area. Um, family could have good news to reveal. Um, maybe the sacrifices you've made in work or health pays off and um, you get the news, you know, this season that uh, you're going to be rewarded for it. Once the sun transitions over into this area, uh, uh, once the sun transitioned over into this area, all of this became a focus. That was the next day on the 21st, okay? So actually, uh, the way you go about handling um, more than one task with diplomacy is going to be illuminated while the sun is in Capricorn, 
okay? You can expect challenges to the area of self and relationships to be highlighted. And at the same time, endings can bring us uh, opportunities in shared finances. Now, the death of something can bring a rebirth in another area. A creative endeavor, dreams, illusions, delusions can provide opportunities. So you might be dreaming up something that you can use in a creative endeavor, okay? Um, that might be of a benefit to you. Now, shocking surprises, as to good fortune is also seen here because of an aspect to Uranus. Everything that I've noted here is um, a focus for Capricorn season. Now, let's move along to, I'm not going to go over um, the 4th and the 6th because those days um, have already passed those transits. So I'll jump into uh, when Mercury moves over into Aquarius on the 8th, okay? Now, um, I do want to note, let you know that Mars yesterday on the 6th it transitioned over into taurus with uranus so shocking acts of aggression can ensue and i talked about that in the collective weekly astrology so that is the transit we are currently under uh, mercury is moving closer to uranus and taurus and not mercury mars is moving closer to uranus and taurus so that intensifies the riots the um, acts of violence or racism or protests and things like that. Those will get stronger as Mars moves closer to Uranus. Okay, now let's go um, into um, Mercury transitioning over into Aquarius, which is going to happen tomorrow on the 8th. It's going to go in at zero degrees. Wealth can be lost as quickly as it is obtained, but it can be achieved nonetheless. Those that think quickly on their feet and are able to work independently on this day, or yeah, they can see success. Um, your area of education, long distance travel, the way you think and the things that you preach play a role in this. Friends also factor in. Your areas of secret sacrifice and solitude can see shocking communication. Secrets or gossip could be revealed, and you could also have friction and communication at work uh, as to your health, um, also, uh, you can have friction of communication during one of your daily routines. Just don't get into it with anybody in the line at Starbucks, okay? Now, you can expect favor and communication as to your education, long distance travel, um, the way you think and the things that you preach. So that turns out to be good for you because although there is, um, um, let's see, Okay, so that is that that is that area. Okay, so the favor to that area, um, you can expect to be coming from romance, creativity, and children. So your children um, are listening to you. They're loving on you. Um, someone from afar, maybe over the web or over the internet, could be admiring you. Um, a Libra is aspected here or one who exhibits those uh, energies, okay? Now, um, opportunities to communicate or showcase skills shows up in your sectors of friends and high hopes, as well as within relationships. Um, and when I say a Libra person is aspected, it could be a Libra sun, moon, or rising, okay? Or like I said, someone who exhibit, exhibits those Libra-like energies, okay? Now, once the sun um, moves over into Aquarius on the 19th, all of this will be a focus, okay? Op the opportunities are going to come to you because of your because of you showcasing your skills because of you speaking up okay your friends and high hopes as well as um uh, relationships is aspected here so state your peace because your friends can bring you those opportunities okay you know show us what you've got um on the 19th all of this like i said will become a focus now on the same day that Mercury moves over into Aquarius. Venus, the planet of love, romance, um, pleasure, you know, abundance. It moves over into Capricorn, okay? So um, your intuition when making decisions, use your intuition when making decisions. Know not only your motivations for certain actions, but the motivation of others as well, okay? Now you might be juggling projects in love and work while Venus is in Capricorn. You'll see favor and abundance in the areas of home and family, as well as secret sacrifice and solitude. Your shared finances could see an increase. Um, if you have a home-based business, it could also see favor. 
okay? Um, when Venus is in Capricorn. Now, opportunities to build your, uh, uh, to build or work on your shared finances, endings and new beginnings in career surfaces through your sectors of work, health, and daily habits, you know, where you are of service to people. Uh, the chance to get extra hours definitely comes your way. At least it bodes well for your finances at the very least. Uh, shift your health regimens to meet your new schedule requirements, okay, Gemini? That's going to be important for you because you want to stay um, as healthy as possible, you know? Um, opportunities for new beginnings or endings in romantic relationships can surface during uh, this time when Capricorn, Venus is in Capricorn. Now, friction as to your friends and high hopes as well as romance, creativity, and children can surface during this time. So maybe the friends into lovers thing isn't going to work out for you, okay? Or isn't working out for you. Or the kids are, you know, messing up the spice in your relationship or something like that. You know, those are the things you're going to try to work around. Between work, kids, and extra love prospects, <laughs> you'll definitely be entertained <laughs> while uh, Venus is in Capricorn, okay? Now... On January the 9th, Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, is at four degrees Aquarius, our collective area of friends and high hopes. Now, this is sesquiquadrate, the true node at 19 degrees in your sign. Uh, Gemini, uh, sorry. <laughs> our, uh, this is our area of communication, siblings, community, even short distance travel you know, overall, but it's, of course, your area of self. So communicating with friends online could grant you connections. But mind your loins. <laughs> Avoid tempting but dangerous pleasure pursuits um, because you could face utter devastation because of it. Now, creative arts are favored during this transit, and powerful friends can provide aid as to those with a keen vision to their goals. Uh, now, uh, avoid loud, boisterous opponents. Someone could be slandering your name in order to damage your reputation. This is playing out in your sector of uh, education, skills and study, long distance travel, and uh, the way you think and the things you preach. So they're gonna be attacking wh what you're about, you know, what you preach, what you th think, how you think, um, your education level, your skill level, um, you know, and they might be from afar. It could be somebody over the internet, you know? That could be what this, you know, loud, boisterous character is uh, uh, attempting to attack. You know, just stay on task. You know, don't worry about the haters. There, people are always going to hate. You know, so um, you know, try not to let that bug you. Okay. Now, let's see here. Let's see if I can. Um, you know what? Let me see. Maybe not. Okay. I'll move along to, uh, to January the 11th, okay? On January the 11th, Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, is at 5 degrees Aquarius. It's going to be sextile Charon at 5 degrees Aries. Um, one could become a leader in their field if they are cunning. You know what? Actually, I do want to go back up. Because Aquarius is your area of... Um, long distance travel, education, skills, study, the things you preach and things like that. Um, you try in that area. So this loud boisterous opponent that's talking about you, that it, it's not going to, it must not be major. Like it's not going to really affect you because you try in that area naturally because Aquarius, like I said, is your sister sign. So you know, you'll be able to brush that off. They'll be talking nonsense. Now, on January the 11th, um, this is the same area, okay? It's going to be sextile Charon and Aries. So, you'll be able to heal things in that area, okay? Um, one could become a leader in their field if they're cunning. Obstacles are overcome with the assistance of powerful friends and or family. A goal can be accomplished on this day. A spiritual guide, uh, those in advertising or schooling to better their craft can see success on this day. A spiritual guide could even say something that will just click for you and um, give you the 
maybe even the ammunition you need or not the ammunition because you don't want to delve into those lower vibrational tendencies like that loud boisterous opponent but it could give you the idea you need or the spark you need um to accomplish the goal you're trying to accomplish okay um this person also may be at a distance from you or on the world wide web you have friends that can help you to hear heal matters in that area as well so this loud boister, boisterous opponent might even be talking smack on that day and one of your friends or someone within your you know uh, family or something might defuse it for you before you even have to say anything you know they might cut it short now on january the 13th the new moon in capricorn at 23 degrees um it is going to be at 23 degrees i'm sorry and you know the energies for a moon can last up to you know two weeks you know provided it's not a, a an eclipse or anything like that um but during this two-week moon cycle from the 13th okay the new moon is about new opportunities and things like that be honest straightforward and driven to your goals like I said, it will garner you true friends. You're ending connections with some and forging new ones that grow your shared finances. Others have a new beginning because of a boost in finances. Okay? Now, favor to this moon cycle as to shared finances, endings, and new beginnings is coming in via a secret opportunity or invitation. Now, home and family or even a home-based business can benefit from this. A career opportunity is aspected okay so adjust your diet to fit to fit your new needs and your new work schedule this may be the start of new daily routines for you friction as to this moon cycle could come in as far as your friends and high hopes for these two weeks romance creativity and children could also cause blockages as to a new beginning in finances so try not to spend too much money on children or a lover or a creative pursuit you know with this newfound abundance you want to you know I, you don't want to be too restrictive with your money or tight but you don't want to just give too much you know what I'm saying you want to kind of have a nice balance you know you don't want to overspend too much this two-week moon cycle now on January 14th uh, Uranus is direct at six degrees okay now Taurus um, six degrees Taurus Shocking events can occur if one chooses to follow the head below as opposed to the head on your shoulders, okay? If you know what I mean. Now, women, you are not excluded from this, so mind your morals because violence can ensue. This is your area of secret sacrifice and solitude, you know, gossip, secrets being found out, things like that. Um, what's done in the dark will be brought to light, okay? Um, you know what they say, so be mindful of that. No need for me to really elaborate anymore there. That pretty much tells you what you need to know, you know. So if you're doing something shady around that time, you might not, you might want to think twice. Now, shocking news can come from afar, even over the web. Um, the way you think and the things you, uh, you say could cause a surprising clash. So watch your mouth. Communication, uh, siblings, short distance travel, as well as your networks of people could be where this is playing out over the internet things like that enough of that okay let's look to where you can have shocking favor during uh, this time um, let me go back up during um, this Uranus going direct uh, transit okay you can see shocking favor okay the sweet things that could catch you off guard um, those are aspecting from your sectors of home and family as well as shared finances, endings, and new beginnings. So you can get surprising, shocking blessings in shared finances. Um, you could uh, end things in family that could wind up being a blessing. Um, and you could have new beginnings in family uh, or new beginnings, period, even in finances. And they become a blessing for you, okay? Now, as far as the opportunity, the shocking opportunity that will come, that can come your way, it's in personal finances as well as career. So the opportunity to make money in career arises. Now, let's move along to the 17th of January. Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, is in Aquarius, your sister's sign. It's going to be square Uranus and Taurus at six degrees. Shocking events can occur if you choose to, um, you know, follow those lower vibrational tendencies. 
Um, so mind your morals or violence can ensue. Practice self-control and don't be impressed by cat calls, especially you women. Okay, your areas of secret sacrifice and solitude, as well as long distance travel, education and the way you think and the things you preach are aspected here. So secrets find a way of surfacing. So keep things on the up and up. You should be okay in the area of long distance travel, the way you think in your education and things like that, though. Okay, so you just want to worry about secret sacrifice and solitude. So secrets coming out, you know, you having to sacrifice some things because of or or having to, you know, sacrifice shocking things, makes shocking sacrifices um, can surface here. So mind your morals. On the 19th, it's all about Vesta. OK, it goes retrograde on the 21st in Virgo. No, it goes retrograde on the 19th at 21 degrees Virgo. This is your area of home and family. So don't allow yourself to be swindled out of love or money by a slick tongue charlatan character. Um, don't let anybody in your family slick you, you know, con you out of some money. Oh, I got to get this done and that done. You know, if they really need it and you want to give it to them, you know, oh well. But make sure it's for the, the right cause. Devote yourself to something that will make you better, okay? And your money. <laughs> a better sacrifice could have to be made. Or I'm sorry, a sacrifice could have to be made. That's more important. Focus on your work and creative pursuits. This will usher in the goodness from this transit and bring success. Favor as to your devotion will surface in the areas of shared finances, endings, and new beginnings, as well as secret sacrifice and solitude, okay? N uh, new shared finances could offer a new beginning, okay? Now, certain sectors can threaten that devotion to home and family. Let's see where the friction could be coming from. It looks like it's your relationships. A Sagittarius is noted here or someone who exhibits those energies. Now remember, the South Node is in Sagittarius right now. So you could also, if you're entering any contracts or anything, make sure you are looking any uh, contracts as far as past endeavors make sure you're looking you know in the clauses area uh, the south node is here so this this is talking as to eluding as to lower vibrational tendencies or being cheated in some way or cheating in some way maybe cheating with a sagittarius or a person with sagittarius like energies um something to do to do with a relationship with a Sagittarius person or one who exhibits those energies and it has to do with lower vibrational tendencies in some aspect or cheating in some aspect or getting cheated okay so you want to watch out for that now opportunities to work on devotion as to home as, fa as to home and family surfaces through personal finances as well as work health and daily habits someone in the family could need financial assistance <laughs> Um, you could also have opportunities to work extra hours to increase your finances. Now, let's move along to um, uh, when, um, goodness gracious, on the 19th, <laughs> January 19th, the sun enters Aquarius. It's going to be at zero degrees. Okay, you know, Mercury is already there. It moved there on the 8th. So now we have the sun there bringing the focus into those things that we talked about before. Friends and high hopes is definitely a focus during Aquarius season. Wealth can be lost as quickly as it is obtained, but it can be achieved nonetheless. Now, those that think quickly on their, their feet are, and are able to work independently can see success on this day or under this transit during the time of Aquarius, okay? During the time of uh, the sun in Aquarius until we get to Pisces season, basically. Your area of long distance travel uh, education, the way you think and the things you preach plays a role in this. Friends factor in. Your area of secret sacrifice and solitude could see shocking communication. Secrets or gossip could be revealed. You could also have friction in communication at work as to your health or during one of your daily commutes. So, um, you know, you don't want to argue with anybody at work during this time. You want to, if you're you know, you're going to the doctors or something like that, or you're expecting news back, you might have to shift around some things because you might get some uh, 
you know, news back to you having to make some adjustments to your health. Okay. You might have a um, shocking um, friction in um, as far as during one of your daily routines, you know, while you're out driving, it could be road rage, somebody at the store, you know, don't get into it with people, especially with all this stuff going on with the election and all that stuff and the, 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 the things like that, you know, you don't want to delve off into that stuff, getting into it with people, you know, distracting you from your real purpose in life and goals. You can expect favor during Aquarius season in your area of education, travel, long distance travel, skills, how, what you think, you know, how you, what you preach and things like that. You try in that area. So that pans, that, that smooths things out and you have favor there. Now, your children are resonating with your ideas. Someone from afar could be admiring you. Um, uh, it could be over the internet, of course. And a, again, a Libra or a person with Libra uh, energies is noted here. Now, opportunities to communicate or showcase your skills shows up in your sectors of friends and high hopes, as well as within your relationships. It's time to state your peace, Gemini, okay? Show us what you've got so to speak, you know, open your mouth, tell us what you think. We want to hear it. Now on January 20th, Saturn at the, provided it's not starting a argument or fight. <laughs> okay. Remember that. Now, January the 20th, Saturn at is at three degrees, Aquarius, your sister sign. It's a semi-square Neptune though, and, and Pisces at 18 degrees. This angle favors the arts, especially those working on crafts pertaining to love or children. Focus on loyalty and sincerity as opposed to things that rouse the sensual desires. Be optimistic about your creative pursuits and use uh, your words to garner the favor you're looking to achieve, Gemini. This is playing out in your sectors of career as well as education, study, and long distance travel, even the way you think, think and the things that you preach. Focus on making sure your skills are up to par. The new year is calling for updates, okay? It's all about technology this year. It's all about updating your skills this year. We're in the age of Aquarius, okay? So it's, it's time for the revolution, the updates, okay? We're all into technology now. January the 21st and collaborations, okay? You can't do it alone. This, this year. January 21st, Saturn is at four degrees Aquarius. It's sexical quadrate the true node at 19 degrees Gemini. Avoid tempting but dangerous pleasure pursuits because you could face utter devastation because of it. Creative arts are favored during this transit and powerful friends can provide aid to those with a keen vision as to their goals. Avoid loud boisterous opponents. Someone could be slandering your name in order to damage your reputation education, skills and study, long distance travel, as well as the way you think and the things you preach are aspected here. Let, uh, let's hope your skills are up to par, okay? You definitely trine um, that area. So I think things will be okay for you. My intuition is telling me that. <laughs> now, January the 26th, Neptune is at 19 degrees Pisces. It's square the true note at 19 degrees in your sign. Now, avoid loud boisterous opponents because someone could be running their mouth again trying to damage your reputation. So be practical and realistic. Hone your skills in the area in which you intend to cultivate a career. Focus. Maintain a clear focus on what you want. This is all about career for you. Never mind the haters. Because on the 27th, it's going to be about a rebirth in career. Okay? Uh, Pluto is about rebirth, renewal, uh, taxes as well. Uh, resources. Um, it's going to be at 25 degrees Capricorn by quintile your sign. You know, by quintile the, the true note at 19 degrees. Um, someone could be talking smack so that you can't have that rebirth in career. But those that are proud, honest, and pure at heart should just avoid these people. Okay, don't, uh, don't volunteer yourself to be in negative energy. This involves your areas of shared finances, endings, and new beginnings. So it could affect your shared finances. It could affect a, a, a new beginning you're trying to have in career or a person you're trying to forge uh, 
a, a relationship within career, okay? You could have a rebirth here. So don't allow petty squabbles to block you. Show that you are the, the one that's more high vibe and rise above them, okay? The hand of fate is at play here. Now on the 28th, that's when the full moon comes in. It's going to be in Leo at nine degrees. Remember, that's a two-week moon cycle. Be mindful when traveling. If people are asking too much of you, let your concerns be known without being short-tempered. You can only do so much, Gemini, okay? Now, this is playing out in your area of communication, siblings, your networks of people, and short-distance travel. So your siblings could be working your nerves, people over the internet, um, you know, people just communicating things to you uh, for assistance that you just, is too much. So you might have to be like, look, <laughs> Calm down. I can only do so much. Now, friction as to these areas could come uh, in secret sacrifice and solitude, as well as work, health, and daily routines. So you could find out some gossip being circulated within your networks uh, of friends or at work. Now is the time you want to make sacrifices within your daily routines to better your health. So maybe it's the morning coffee or tons of sugar that's got to go. You know, it's going to be something there. Um, your siblings might communicate things to you that are, you know, shocking or that are, um, you know, not, not so, you know, friction. It could, it could not be so good. It could be about their health as well. Um, you know, so that's, that's something, you know, you guys would have to deal with. Now, favor as to communication, siblings, and your networks of people and short distance travel will show up in the area of relationships as well as friends and high hopes. So your true allies have your back and maybe they can help you. Maybe your siblings help you. Maybe um, your friends can step in and help, you know, um, which is a good thing. Um, during that two week moon cycle, you'll see opportunities aspecting your area of communication siblings, your networks of people, and short distance travel from your sectors of romance, creativity, and children. So an admirer can be revealed during this, this two-week moon cycle. And opportunities to work on a creative endeavor or collaborate also arises, okay? Now, let's see if I have anything extra that I might want to give you about this moon cycle. Um, okay. I guess that's about it, you know. Yeah, okay, that's about it during that moon cycle. Okay, so on the 30th, uh, uh, Mercury's going to go retrograde in Aquarius at 26 degrees. It's going to be the time to be sociable and enjoy the company of friends, even if it's on the web. But a shocking surprise or, or shocking communication could come in as to old friends or old endeavors, you know, uh, within your networks. Uh, old contacts can return. In fact, the past could catch you off guard this transit. Uh, those that think quickly on their feet and are able to work independently um, could have uh, blessings. Um, your area of education, long distance travel, and the way you think plays a role in this, and you already trying that sign. Um, your area of secret sacrifice and sh solitude could see shocking communication as well. Secrets or gossip could be revealed or a secret invitation. You could have obstacles uh, to work through um, in, as far as a past work project. You could have to go back and fix some things. Um, as to reoccurring health, as to a reoccurring health ailment as well. Okay, so if you have something cropping up that's always been bothering you, um, you know, or you know um, has been around for a while, you want to fix those things now. Um, you could also have um, an obstacle during one of your daily commutes. So if it's not you getting into it with somebody verbally, it could be maybe one, uh, your car or one of your uh, technical devices messing up, you know, during one of your daily routines. You have to go and do this and do that and your phone glitches out or, you know, it could be anything like that. You could drop your phone and break it or, you know, something like that. Um, you can expect favor and communication as to your education skills and long distance travel and the way you think and the things you preach. Um, as far as, oh, I just wanted to make sure that was still going. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw my face in the camera. Um, your children are listening to, uh, and someone from afar is admired, could be admiring you, someone from the past. Um, 
they could exhibit Libra energies <laughs> um, and opportunities to, com to communicate during this moon cycle uh, or to showcase your skills shows up in your sectors of friends and high hopes as well as uh, within your relationships, okay? It's time to state your peace, maybe even with relationships from the past or maybe to release that thing from the past. Um, you know, show us what you got. You know, do, do your thing. You know, you want to clear things out so you can move forward, okay? Thank you so much, Gemini, for uh, sticking with me for this January update. I'm glad I was able to do your um, horoscope in person, your astrological horoscope in person. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do that next month. You know, as you know, some of the, the others I couldn't do. But thank you so much. I love you guys. God bless you. And... I'll see you soon and be safe. Please be safe out there. Okay. All right. Let's love each other. Bye.